Hey everybody and welcome back to the Rabbit Sanctuary's YouTube channel. In this video we are going to share with you the story of Honey Drops, a young bunny we took in from a pound. We were told that Honey Drops had been found under a house and a dog had been chasing her. She was in very poor condition. Please watch until the end to see her incredible transformation. Rescue work is hard, but in situations like this, it is incredibly rewarding. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is Little Honey. It's a little rescue bunny that we picked up yesterday. Kim got a call out um, from a council pound in Sydney that there was a little bunny that's been harassed by some dogs. And so I went to pick her up. I'm just so devastated to see the state such a little bunny is in. She looks about, look, seriously, I think she's about 10 weeks old, if you're lucky. She is completely matted, absolutely everywhere. Her bum, that is one big mat. That piece there is one big mat. She can barely walk. Um, she was wet. Um, she's, she's just in such a horrible poor state that I cannot believe it. I'm actually totally horrified that such a young bunny can be in such a state. Um, she's very mellow and calm and um, it's just a shame to see that every single part of her body is matted. Even the tops of her ears has little tangles and knots um, underneath her belly, if we can have a little look. That's all just curly, tight little knots everywhere. She has a little bit of pink redness on her legs where I think where the knots have been irritating her. Um, it's just the saddest thing I've ever seen. Um, so I'm going to get started on grooming her today. And um, I know she's going to be very short, but um, we have to do something to make her feel much more comfortable. So I just checked the sex. We have got a little girl here and um, Oh, she just wants to huddle up and feel safe. So I'm going to put her away now and let her rest for tonight and get her some food. But she stinks. And she's terribly, terribly, terribly mad. It's so sad. Um, let's see if we can bring her some joy. Hey, hey sweetie, we'll look after you. So um, I was just clipping this little sweet honey and as I got through another section of her body um, and took a mat off, I found a hole where the dog obviously must have bit her. But the worst thing about it, there was already some maggots there. So I've had to give her a quick little bath to remove the maggots and bring them to the surface so I can take them all out and keep her clean. So now we're rushing off to the vets to give her um, the care that she needs. Um, so this is the sort of terrible things that can happen when you don't look after your bunnies and don't groom long hair bunnies. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was underneath the mat and you couldn't see it until the mat was removed. Um, so this poor baby has been in lots and lots of lots of pain. Foster carer Deanne rushed Honey Drops to Dural Pet Stock Vets to get the care she desperately needed. We saw the wound under her leg and we discovered a wound on her other leg where the maggots had been eating through her skin. It was a horrifying thing for everyone who was part of Honey Drops' journey to witness. She stayed at the vets for two days so they could nurture her back to health and get her treatment started. Hi everyone, this is little Honey. Um, I've just picked her up from the vets. Um, she had to spend two days there because underneath her terrible matting as I went through it, her, her body was full of maggots. So the maggots were actually eating her alive. It's, it's a really, really, really sad story of neglect but how quickly a bunny that's long haired can turn to a horror situation. Um, so she's such a sweetie, but as you can see here, under this side here, she's had a big hole in her stomach as well. She's got a really bad um, spot on her foot. You can't really see it, but every time she moves her foot, it's quite black. That's actually all where the maggots were eating her alive. Um, she's very, very skinny but she's super sweet and super friendly after all the poor conditions she's been in, um, had to go through. Um, so I've given her a cut just to get the mats off, but then we had to rush her to the vet. So she hasn't had any proper grooming, just removing of all those knots. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to put you in the video, baby, to show you in the video. Um, so yeah, in a couple more days I'll work on giving her a much more nicer haircut but at this stage we just need to make her comfortable um, and feeling a little bit more safe and secure. 
but this is all the medication she has to have just to get through. So she's got pain relief, she's got cream, she's got um, injections. Um, so she's in a pretty bad state. So very, very important that a long hair bunny gets groomed regularly, not only for knots and the comfort of the bunny, but things like this can happen where maggots can get underneath and start to infest the skin and eat, eat your bunny alive. So it's a terrible, terrible, terrible situation. Um, so this is a little sweet bunny that needs some loving care. Honey Drops was an excellent patient for Deanne and enjoyed her meloxicam, just like most bunnies do. Honey Drops wounds needed to be monitored by the vets to ensure they were healing and the infection was going. She was a very lucky bunny going to the vets in style in her foster mum's amazing bunny pram. Our incredible vet, Dr. Marjorie, shared with us more about what happened to honey drops and how fly strike can be prevented. Hi, I'm Dr. Marjorie from Pesto Vet at Dural, and honey drops came to me before Christmas. She um, had been picked up with a pound. She's only very young, uh, but she had, she had fly strike. So fly strike is where flies lay eggs in the coat and skin of the pet and um, they hatch into maggots and the maggots will start to burrow into the skin and cause quite debilitating wounds and um, it's obviously a pretty serious infection. So honey, honey drops's um, fly strike was probably due to the fact that she had, was very matted and she was in an in a environment that was very dirty and contaminated. But fly strike can occur for many reasons, including um, obesity or anything that stops the rabbit from grooming, as well as um, matting fur and urine and fecal soiling. So to prevent fly strike, um, you need to make sure that the bunny's coat doesn't get too matted. The bunny isn't overweight. It can move around the cage because things like arthritis can also lead to fly strike. Um, the environment is kept clean and dry, and also that um, there's nothing preventing other things like dental disease preventing the rabbit from grooming. So regular investigation and vet checks is recommended. If we do find that the um, rabbit has fly strike, then you should take the rabbit to a vet straight away. Um, normally we have to clip off all the matted hair, clean the wounds, use um, products to kill the maggots and that might require repeated treatment. Usually the rabbits have some open wounds that require wound care and um, but once we can treat them and prevent further fly strike then uh, the rabbits do really well like honey drops. Now it was time for honey drops to get pampered. Deanne happens to be an expert groomer so she was in the best hands possible for her princess makeover. She also got to learn some cool training tricks. Honey, kiss, 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 kiss. Good girl. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Can you come up with kiss? Aww, good girl. outside after she had her 
play in the bunny garden. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've stopped patting her to see her move for me to pat her some more. Um, and she's just been having a little snooze on my lap. And I stopped patting her the video and she told me she wanted more. <laughs> she's very cute. The transformation of Sweet Honey Drops is incredible. She came into the rabbit sanctuary as a matted, filthy and very sick little girl. Today, she looks like a princess. She is healing, growing and gaining the weight she needs to. This wouldn't have been possible without our foster carer Deanne, Pet Stock Vets Dural and everyone who donates and helps the rescue to look after these sick and injured rescue bunnies. We would love it if you could help us by subscribing to our channel, liking the video and leaving a comment. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of Honeydrop's transformation. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.